As you can see here, there's two plates of lead, one for the cathode, one for the anode. Hydrogen will be produced at the cathode. Oxygen will be produced at the anode. Anode will be oxidized to plumbic oxide or lead dioxide. As we can see here, we're going to connect to our power supply. 26 volts right now and 3 amps maximum. Here, electrolyte we're using is magnesium sulfate. Here we go. You can see oxygen and hydrogen being produced. As one place reduced, one place got oxidized. The black things you can see is actually the lead dioxide. We're gonna last another 20 seconds for it to be totally charged. And here we can see we're gonna connect it to a light bulb to see there is actually dust charge. Actually, when we discharge the cell, the cathode is actually being oxidized as the anode's been reduced, so the electrons can flow. You can see here, light bulb will glow faintly. Right now, yep. Yeah. Here we go, that's our charge. Now the cell is totally discharged. Because this is a simple plate, instead of acid we're using the salt, it wouldn't give us a good result. But if we change this to actual sulfuric acid, it will give us a much brilliant result. And much more current can be passed, as if we put our plate thinner, instead of lead, we're putting lead powder on lead plate, it will give us more charge and we'll change it to our main theory